Hi, and welcome back to another student news. I hope you all had a good first week back at school. I definitely did. I realised I'd forgotten how to socialise. We're getting there, we're building it back up again. We have got a jam-packed show for you people this week. That's really threatening, I'm really sorry. But we have got the census, a deep dive into the census and why it's so important. Fill it out, fill it out, you fill it out. We have got some sport again. We all love the sport segment. And we have got Isaac, who is doing a bit of more entertainment, a bit more feel-good fun film. We better get right into it so that I don't take up all the time and all the important stuff does but firstly i'm gonna pass over to Will. Da, 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 da. every 10 years the office for national statistics compiles information about the country including religion income and relationship status and even whether or not you own a car this is the census and the next one is scheduled for march 21st of this year these are hugely important giving the government the up-to-date information it needs to assess taxes and the legislation more generally, which is why they take it so seriously. Households get sent letters to remind them about the census, and there can be a fine of up to £1,000 for failing to fill the census in. Because of their importance, censuses are often historically interesting. William the Conqueror commissioned a 1086 census you might have heard of, called the Doomsday Book, which has been referred to by some historians as the most remarkable statistical document in the history of Europe. Although perhaps not as significant as the Doomsday Book, there are a couple of things that will make the 2021 census interesting. The government is, for the first time, asking the majority of the country to fill it out online. And there are also new questions this year asking about whether you've ever been in the armed forces and an optional question for those over 16 about whether or not they identify with the gender assigned to them at birth. There are also options to fill the census out independently from your family if there are things you don't want the rest of your family to know about. Just go to the website and scroll down on the main page and you'll be taken to your own private link. So there you go, that's the census. See you again in 10 years time to discuss the next one. That's all from me, back to you in the studio. Da, 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 da. Thank you for that one, Will. That was really important. Next, I'm going to pass over to Isaac. He's gonna give us a feel-good film. How feel-good fun is that? Isaac. Everyone, it's me, I'm back with your Cheney News Entertainment Update for this week. Now, even though we're back at school and seeing all our friends and teachers again, and that's great, the news is still pretty depressing. And we all need a bit of escapism from time to time. So, today I'm going to give you three feel-good film recommendations that will allow you to escape the world for just a little bit and hopefully brighten your day. My first feel-good recommendation is Steven Soderbergh's Contagion, a nail-biting thriller about the discovery of a deadly virus and the increasing panic around the world as the pandemic takes hold. Nah, I'm only joking. That would be the uh, opposite of escapism, really, wouldn't it? My real first feel-good choice is Sarah Gavron's Rocks. This film is such a tonic. It's a very short and sweet story about a group of teenagers living in London. Now, I wouldn't say this is a film where a huge amount happens, but what it is is just really a joyous picture of friendship and the way in which our true friends are not just those who support us, but those who challenge us when we need challenging. It's just been nominated for a ton of BAFTAs. We love that. It's on Netflix now. Watch Rocks, because it rocks. My second pick is Game Night, a studio comedy from a couple of years ago starring Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams. Now this film is about, you guessed it, a game night between some friends that goes quite wrong and the lines between fiction and reality are blurred to hilarious effect. I feel like this is the perfect Friday night watch for all the family. You know, a super funny, delightfully ridiculous romp, the kind of thing where you can just get a massive bag of popcorn and have a really fun time. That's also on Netflix, so check out Game Night. Last but certainly not least is something a little bit different, John Carney's Once, which tells the story of two kindred spirits in Dublin, Ireland, who meet and develop a beautiful relationship through their shared love of music. This film will probably make you cry, but in a good way. Starring two non-professional actors in the lead roles, there's something very natural and authentic to Once that I think helps make the film feel so engaging. It feels very grounded and lived in. The highlight really is the soundtrack though. So many catchy tunes that you're gonna struggle to get out of your head. I don't think this film is on Netflix, but please seek it out where you can. It's well worth your time. That's all from me this week. Check out the films that I recommended. I hope that they brighten your day just a little bit. Back to the studio. Da, 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 da. Thanks for right one, Isaac. That was really good. Feel good. Now, 
back by popular demand for some reason he got a lot of positive feedback last week which you know is fine I threw a little joke in there did you see that bless him I really think he should be uh, leaving that one to the professionals because we all know who the funny one is and the incredibly talented and humble one is in this show if you want sport you can have sport and with sport comes Harry Beale da -da -da -da. hello Welcome back to Chaley Sports. Unfortunately, there's been no news of an England call up for the cricket team for myself. Uh, they're still struggling against India. I think they can really use the help. In football news, Man City are still very well clear at the top of the table, while Liverpool are struggling back in eighth place. I'm about to send my cameraman out to see if he can get an exclusive interview with a Liverpool fan. Let's see how it goes. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you have a few minutes to talk about Liverpool? What are you talking about? Well, you know, they're four out of five losses in the, in the Premier League. Problem, sir, back off. Sir, 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 please. Back here. Sir. Well guys, that's going to have to be it for Chaney Sports News. Um, I haven't heard back from my cameraman, I hope he's doing alright. Uh, hopefully he got me that exclusive interview that I was really hoping for. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Back to the studio. Da -da -da -da. Thanks for that one Harry, that was great. Not that great though guys, if we just keep his praise down, you know, it's fine. Everyone can talk about sport, can't they? We can't all be funny. <laughs> Who's got the hardest job here? Me. And who's doing it like a pro? Me. So I hope that we can have a bit more feedback this week. Follow our Instagram at Chaney SSLT. I hope you had fun this week. I hope you learned something. I hope you have another good week at school. I hope that you are just living life. I hope you're having fun socializing with friends again. And that's me. Out signing out for another week. What's Wonderloo plus Wonderloo? Tulu.